perfect. I'm going to be showing you me opening up 800 plus bird's nests. I'm trying this money making, making method out. My friend told me to do it. So I'm here to investigate and test this out. Um, I heard it can be good if you have some luck, you know, because you're supposed to buy mole claws from the Grand Exchange, bring him to Falador, trade him into a guy named Weissen in the garden, and he'll give you bird's nest instead and trade for the mole skins. And they're roughly around the same price, you know, bird's nest I think are like 2k less at the moment. So you can make a lot more, you can make a lot of money just getting a bird's nest. Well, actually you lose money, but you get money from the seeds, so you probably make profit either way but I'm gonna here I'm here to test it out so here it is Whew. so I oh yeah I did not come out with a jad guide quite yet I, I don't know I wasn't really feeling it right now I don't have enough money to do that right now because uh, I've been doing so many skills to get quests up uh, wasted a lot of money on construction and smithing and wasted a lot of time oh I recently just got 90 STR so I spent all day going into dungeoneering and getting a Promethean Mall. It took me a while. Couldn't find a group. I don't know. So, hey, if anybody wants to uh, dungeon with me, just leave a comment below with your RSN. And I will hit you up and we'll go and dungeon. I'm looking for a good group. Uh, preferably rushing C6 Malls. Stuff like that. Get quick XP in. So, I mean, I have a really hard time getting groups, I don't know. The people just don't like me, I guess. <laughs> but I finally got my Promethean Mall, so it was all good. I think it was worth it, all the time it took. I I, own, I am only 57 Dungeoneering, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was never a big fan of the skill until, like, last week. All that, so, yeah. What I will be coming out with, I will be coming out with a Mage Guide, a 1-99 to Mage Guide. And hmm, what else was I gonna come up with? Some PK videos and some dual staking. That was I'm pretty excited for that. Dual staking is uh, my favorite, one of my favorite things in RuneScape to do because higher risk. Just wow, it's just so much fun. You can make so much money off of it, and it's just a lot of fun. It's not like as intense as PKing. I don't know. I'm not a well. I was never the big fan of PKing, but. If you guys want that, I can PK for you guys. I might not be as good as Spark Mac or any of those guys, but I'll sure give it my, my all. So, and uh, I hope you guys liked my last video. My Barrows, uh, it wasn't getting too many views. I was kind of upset about it, and some guy just like, commented and gave me a lot of hope. I don't know who that was. And yeah, thank you for that if you're watching this one. So, uh, I was off to a really bad start with these nests. It was killing me. I kept getting really shitty seeds like watermelons and. Well, actually, watermelons are pretty good, but tomato seeds, man. Those things are killing me. I had like 900 of tomato seeds. I was just like, wow, I don't even want to do this anymore. It's not worth it. But uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so here is, uh,. What I got from just seeds. I haven't crushed the nest, nets yet, and I'm not gonna get that on video because that is gonna take a long ass time to crush all those nests. You gotta wait for all of them to get crushed. And, ugh, I do not want to do that right now. But I will anyways, just for you guys. All right, let's just see what I got in seeds here. Strawberry seeds. Oh, 50k in strawberry seeds. Not off to a good start. Oh man, how terrible. Okay. not looking good guys oh my 200k yikes see please give me some good things from this use seeds all right there's one mil almost there's 1.3 mil out of all of it shit <laughs> oh is that 366k right there nothing nothing and these are untradeable so I can't trade this. So I was 1.7 million coins from just the seeds. How crappy is that? That's pretty crappy. <laughs> you ask me. Uh, I wow. I better get something from these damn nests. Otherwise.
because that was just a big waste of my time. Oh, God damn it. I guess I'm just gonna start, start recording when I get to my outcome, I guess. Hey guys, it's me again. I've finished crushing all my nests, I've gotten all my seeds, and I am disappointed to the max. Okay, um, I bought all my nests for about 8 mil, 8.9 mil, and I, earlier I bought them for another 2 mil because I had to raise the price to get the, for the 8 mil one. So that totals up to about 11 mil almost. <laughs> Which really sucks, you know. Um, I was pretty, I'm pretty pissed off about it. Uh, but it just takes up my D claws. I'm not going to be able to get those back anytime soon, you know. Oh, God. So hopefully, you guys, if you guys ever try this, make sure the prices are right. Um, I wouldn't advise if they're over, if they're over 5k from the price that you bought them from. Like you bought moleskins, for, say you bought moleskins for 15k, and then you bought, and then you can sell the crushed nests for 10k, right? I would advise not doing it any time in there. So make sure it's like a one to two k difference. You might get lucky or just lose very l little, because you still have the chance to get some good seeds and get a little bit of profit off of it. But I would advise if you guys are gonna try to make money, this is not the way to do it. You know. uh I would suggest going to tan D hides maybe down in the get some buy some green dragon hides. I know this one works for a fact. I've done my fair shit my fair share of tanning in my days. <clears throat> That's how I made most of my money. That and black dragons. So Wow. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so I lost a lot of money, as you can see. That's not good. That's not good. But I'm gonna be coming out with a new video soon. Uh, yeah, pretty soon I'm gonna be coming out with that mage video I was telling you guys about. Um, One to ninety-nine mage. I found it fairly easy to do, so I'm gonna help you guys out with it. Tell you where to train it uh, from the beginning and alching and all the different ways you can do it. The cheapest ways, the most expensive ways. Uh, that's it. It's gonna be included in that one. But I would suggest you know get making some money. Get like twenty-four mil if you're going for ninety-nine mage. Get about 24 mil. I'm pretty sure that's the price for it right now. I would advise getting that first because that's awesome. If you have 24 mil, you can buy all the nature runes and get some pouches so you can alch them all the way to 99. But <clears throat> I will tell you that way is extremely boring. So, or you can always go and do the more expensive way alch until around 94. Go do desert treasure, ice barrage, mummies down in the chaos tunnels great experience and sometimes you get some good drops uh, not lately because of the price drop you don't get as much money as you used to back then which was, those are the good days jagex 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 i had to drop everything that's because of all those damn botters right i tell you botting on the green drags and everything it's not good it's not good for the broomscape i don't know bringing this game underground, I'll, uh, I still love the game, I, I grew up with it, so I have to live with it, so that almost wraps it up for this for this video, um, bottom line, don't do this, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I will see you guys next video, uh, my 99 mage guide, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, so see you then, please rate, comment, and subscribe my friends,